oil and we need to buy... You don't want to get the oil from there because it's not suitable? No, he thinks so I have been oil or that's the... He does... Yeah. So we need to buy oil. Tamarind, yes. I mean, you just you just eat the tamarind just like that. Add it to something. Sometimes uh, the tamarind is also used to uh, wash dishes. To wash dishes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes. Okay. Yeah, uh, they also put it. On Sometimes the makes makes sauce. Make it like a tamarind sauce. Tamarind sauce. Different reasons. But is this is this collected on an industrial level? Like, is it farmed, or just local people get from the local, tamarind tree? Small scale. Small scale. It is, small, small. It is not small large. Scale. Small scale it's collection. Because yeah. I've seen some ladies in South India collecting the, the from the tree. That is uh, on a bigger scale because tamarind is used in almost every cooking. Yeah, but it was but just on a road to the national park. It wasn't right. like a plantation. Here it is just more of a sauce cleaning. Uh, uh, little cherry. Little cherry. Uh, what do we call them? Sh um, sugar cherries, um, <coughs> like this. Watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> Just last these two things only we need. Okay, so yeah. maybe we can get oil on the main street again. Yeah, I think oil and bread. What's what's going on here then? Lots of uh, betel nut. Betel nut. Ah, oh, so this is the betel nut. What what is this? What's here? And what is it? Cutting. Oh, cutting. And you you eat? So many amazing things you can't actually get your head around. What what is um, what is what in the sense of how you eat it, where it's from, is it all from India? And you have a lot of different things. But at, you can absolutely say it's fascinating spending time in an Indian market. Wonderful place. So exciting, so vibrant. Everyone smiling. Someone on the phone. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Everyone enjoying a nice relaxed evening and uh, I'm enjoying it as well, have to say. Now I need to find my guys. You can get lost in India quite easily, but no need to worry. Just watch out for the traffic. Like that. Okay. The normal technique in India is just to walk in front of a car and just stop it, and that's what you do. Oh, sometimes, sometimes when you cross the road, you realize your guys are on the other side, and you have to cross back. You wouldn't be give should we call him and ask him? Hey, 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 This is a seed of kind of, you know, Urohi, uh, a bean. Oh yeah, it looks like a bean. Yeah, actually. yeah that's different, but all different colors. Yeah. Here's also soya bean. Oh. I think this is the only white oil available. Else mustard oil. Are you white? No, I. So, but this comes from soya, right? Yeah. And and the problem with soya and soya plantations is that they are destroying a lot of rainforest all over the world in Asia. So I can't add 
with good conscience take this. So if mustard oil is the only one, then we'll take the mustard oil. Because we know mustard oil does not have the same environmental damage. Even my daughters are always shouting, checking on the back of the all the ingredients if there's soya in there. Like soya in the sense, you know. Palm oil is worse, actually. But rice bran. Rice bran oil. What's this one? Rice bran oil. Rice bean oil. That's yeah. got to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 uh, absolutely ethical. I mean, I've never come across rice bean oil. Rice bran. I, I, rice bran. Rice bran oil. Okay, so they're they're the the darker husk of the exactly. of the rice. The rice but they're making oil out of that somehow. Out of that. Why not? Let's do it. I think that's a good choice.